Uranus devastated by giant collision. Ice giant Uranus was rammed by a planet twice as big as Earth. Uranus took a hit of cosmic proportions when a planet twice the size of Earth crashed into this giant billions of years ago. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports on this. Astronomers at Durham University in England believe they have finally cracked the mystery of Uranus's tilt. It has a tilted orbit and freezing temperatures. The likely culprit, they say, appears to be a protoplanet that collided with Uranus in the infant days of the solar system. When compared to other eight planets of our solar system, Uranus appears to be tilted at an almost right angle in relation to the rest of the bodies in the system. The planet also supports an unusually cold outer atmosphere, reaching temperatures as low as minus 216 degrees Celsius. The study's leader is author Jacob K. Geris, and he said his team used more than 50 high-resolution computer models to determine the tilt of Uranus. He said, we ran more than 50 different impact scenarios using a high-powered supercomputer to see if we could recreate the conditions that shaped the planet's evolution. Uranus, the giant protoplanet, likely was hit by the ice giant billions of years ago. Now, the planet, as we said, is oddly tilted in relation to the other planets in the solar system. He said, our findings confirm that the most likely outcome was that the young Uranus was involved in a cataclysmic collision with an object twice the mass of Earth, if not larger, knocking it onto its side and setting it in, pro in the process of events that helped create the planet we see today. The protoplanet that collided with Uranus most likely grazed Uranus rather than colliding with the planet head on but the impact would have been strong enough to tilt the sphere. The simulations also suggest the force of impact created a shell of debris around the planet's ice layer, trapping, trapping the heat, all heat from its core. The trapped heat could explain the extreme temperatures in Uranus's outer atmosphere. Scientists now think the collision could have created Uranus's moons and rings in the aftermath, Planetary debris launched into space after impact could have clumped together in orbit around Uranus to form its 27 known satellites and rings. A similar theory proposed in Earth's own moon was created when Mars-sized body crashed into the planet in its early days. Study co-author Dr. Louis Theodoro of the NASA Ames Research Center said, quote, all the evidence points to giant impacts being frequent during planet formation, and with this kind of research, we're now gaining more insight into their effect on potentially habitable exoplanets. The moons around Uranus are also on a collision course to total destruction. But don't panic. The crash is unlikely to happen for four to 100 million years from now. Two pairs of Uranus's 27 moons look to be on a collision course and are expected to hit into each other in two successive crashes. While studying Uranus's rings using data from NASA's Voyager 2 flyby of Uranus in 1986, researchers from the University of Idaho and Wesley College found the rings have a strange shaped orbit caused by the gravitational pull of the moon Cressida. Voyager 2 passed Uranus on 24th of January 1986 at a distance of 81,500 kilometers. From that distance, it was able to get a very good look at the planet's weird atmosphere. Due to what's thought to have been a collision with the Earth-sized body during the early formation of the solar system, Uranus has an axial tilt of 97.77 degrees, meaning that it spins on its side with its poles where you'd normally expect to find another planet's equator. It's thought the inner rings were formed when previous moons of Uranus, which are among the most tightly packed in the solar system, crashed into each other. 
When the team plotted the path of Cressida, they found it is due to cross paths with the orbit of the moon Des Demona, which currently orbits only 560 miles or 900 kilometers from Cressida's orbit. However, astronomers are not panicking just yet. The first pair isn't expected to collide for at least four million years time, and the second crash will later follow. Desdemona could collide with either Cressida or Juliet within the next four to 100 million years, they say, depending on the masses of the satellites involved. Cressida and Desdemona are members of the most tightly packed system of moons in our solar system called the Portia Group. These satellites are thought to be unstable on short time scales compared to the age of the solar system, the author said. The paper, which was not has not been yet published, but uh, was posted on the preprint server RVIX, also found the same to be true for Cupid and Belinda. These moons are also members of the group, and it is predicted they will collide later. The group suggested a mission to Uranus should be the next step in order to further understand Uranus's moons, compositions, and predict their fate. The only spacecraft to have gone anywhere near Uranus is Voyager 2, which captured images of the planets and uh, it swung past both on its journey out of the solar system. Voyager 2 was actually launched before Voyager 1 on 20th of August 1977 and is still sending signals back to us today, almost 38 years later, as it enters interstellar space, making it one of the most distant man-made objects in the universe.